Now shifting gears to Europe. The United States is sending more military aid to Ukraine as the war with Russia enters six months. Here's ABC's M. Wynn with the details. The U.S. announcing another massive military aid package for Ukraine, valued at $775 million. It will include more ammunition for the HIMARS rocket systems, 16 new howitzers, and for the first time, the Pentagon is sending 15 Scan Eagle reconnaissance drones to better identify key Russian targets. This latest round of military aid comes as the standoff in Zaporizhia continues. Heavy shelling near Ukraine's largest nuclear plant has many fearing a potential catastrophe. ABC News was there as hundreds of Ukrainians fled. We've been told there would be a huge convoy of cars coming in from the Russian-occupied areas, and here they are, taking everything they can with them to get to safety. Ukraine's President Zelensky met with the UN Secretary General who says the area around the plant needs to be demilitarized. Agreement is urgently needed to establish Zaporizhia as purely civilian infrastructure and to ensure the safety in a phone call between Russian President Vladimir Putin and French President Emmanuel Macron, both parties agreed to an independent inspection by the International Atomic Energy Agency to inspect the plant as soon as possible and assess the real situation on the ground. Ukrainian officials have shared a video of Russian vehicles inside the plant, accusing Russia of using the plant as a military base. ABC News has not verified the date this video was taken. Zelensky has vowed to take back control of the plant. Meanwhile, Ukraine has warned that Russia is looking to disconnect the Zaporizhia plant from Ukraine's electric grid and redirect the power to its own grid. And now, Russian state-owned energy company Gazprom has said it will shut down its natural gas pipeline for three days at the end of the month, putting pressure on European countries that depend on that fuel. M. Wen, ABC News, Washington.